Hi guys, this is the fourth part of my Angular 17 crash course. In this video, I will talk about how we can bind functions, how to do two way data binding and how to use attribute directives to bind the classes or the styles in our components. In the previous video, I talked about styles binding, attribute binding, class bindings and the different types of data bindings. So let's get started. First of all, I'm going to show you how we can bind functions. So here, first of all, I will be creating one variable. Let's say a counter of type number equals to zero. And uh, now I will be defining a function. So let me do that increment counter. And here I will be using this dot counter plus plus this can be used to refer any variable that we define within a component. Okay, so now let's go to the HTML and here I will be first of all add p tag you entered with the interpolation. Um, I can write counter. Okay, in fact, I can write counter over here. All right. So first of all, I'm going to go over here and here you can see that it is showing zero because the value of counter initially have been set to zero. Now I want to create a button when I'll be clicking on this function. I want the counter to be incremented and that incremented value needs to be shown to this place. Okay. So above that, I will be creating a button. and uh, this is going to be increment let me see if it's visible yes it's visible currently it's not working now in order to bind a function we have to use parentheses and click keyword inside it and then as its value i need to define the function name like this and we have to add these parentheses over here now, once the files are saved, now I'm going to click on this function. You will see that as I'm clicking on it, uh, the value is getting increased. So this is how we can call a function and bind it in our HTML. Now let's talk about two way data binding. And here in my component, first of all, I will be creating one variable. Let me add that. So input text, this is having the initial value added now let's go to the HTML and here first of all let me copy this one and uh, you entered initial value let me see uh, initial value does not exist uh, in input text actually all right so now you can see that you entered uh, initial value above this I can define an input with the placeholder enter text like this yes it's visible now in order to get the value from this component that is stored in this variable and show the value of this variable in the input text box uh, we can use first of all square brackets and inside the square brackets I have to use parentheses this syntax enables the two-way data binding so I need to define ng model this is the predefined keyword we cannot change it and now I need to define input text now what happens is the value is being passed from here to the HTML and here using this particular directive i am again passing the changed value from this component the html file back to this component okay so this is called two-way data binding passing value from typescript to html and then back from html to the typescript now uh, ng model is not defined uh, yeah so let me refresh let's save this file it is showing an error 
I know what is that. So error occurred in the template and it says that can't bind ng module since it is not a noun property. What we need to do is go to the component file and here we need to import forms module because input is uh, referring to the form. Uh, so I'm going to import the forms module first of all. So forms module from angular forms and then we need to add this form modules over here. Forms module. All right. Now when I'll be saving this file, you will see that the error is gone and it is showing a proper UI. Earlier in the previous versions, we had to add these modules in our app.module.ts files. But in this versions, wherever we need this, we have to just import that in that particular component. Okay. So here it is showing the initial value, um, an initial value over here. Now, when I'll be changing the value from the HTML, it should change the value in the component back. So here I will be changing it. You will see that as I'm changing the new value over here, it is changing the value over here as well. It means that there is a two way binding. This is being changed from component to the HTML and then back from HTML to the component. So this particular directive is very important in order to implement the two way data binding. Okay, now I'm going to talk about few directives, built in directives. One is the ng class and then other one is the ng style. So let's go to the app component.ts file and here I will be defining the couple of uh, strings. So here I will be first of all ng class and here let me do this of type string and this is a uh, dangerous message let me add the classes to it so classes of type string equals to danger and then the text size all right so now let's go to the html file and uh, let's come over here and i will be defining div let me add the message and here I will be using this particular directive ng class like this. And then I will be giving it a value classes. Let me see how it's looking like on the UI. Uh, so it's showing some kind of error ng class ng class is not a noun property. Okay, so we need to add few things in our import array, I believe. So here I will be importing few things. So I will import ng class and ng style. And both of these should be imported over here. All right. And now the error is gone. And here it is showing that this is a dangerous message. And I'm going to go over here and it's showing classes and it should be applying these two classes, uh, danger and the text size. But currently this, these are not the values. These are the classes. Okay. So I'm going to go to the SCSS file and here I will be adding these two classes like this danger background color light blue color red and then the text size is 40 pixels let's save it and let's go and now you can see that it is applying those classes based upon these conditions which i added so using this particular directive i can create a variable and using that variable i can store the classes styles which is being added in the scss file so i'm showing you the communication between all of these three different files in order to add different stylings to our data in our component okay one last thing i want to show you is the ng style directive which is uh, as you know i added over here in the imports so here i will be creating a new variable let's create that so i will be creating ng style so selected color string equals to red okay so i will also be adding few styles uh, in this 
scss file so let's add these color box width height and the background color this is the color box now let's come to the app dot component and here i will be creating a div let's add a box and here i'm going to first of all add a class color box let's see how it's looking like so it's showing this box uh, with the background color width and height and it's showing the text okay so now i will be using ng style directive equals to curly braces single quotes and now i will be writing the background color selected color okay so let's go over here you can see that um, i can override the styles which is added over here so this is the external file and i have added the internal styling over here so this is the value being applied to the background color for this particular div and uh, we can use this particular directive to override those styles so thank you so much for watching guys see you in the next video don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video so these particular directives are the built in attribute directives in the next video i'll talk about built in structure directives